Hey everyone, Sam Ovens here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about mastering your own personal quarterly review. So it's hard to believe, but 90 days of 2015 are gone. You know, we're one quarter of the way through the year, and what I believe is really valuable for us to do at this point is to just take some time out and evaluate how things have been going and whether we're heading you know, in the right direction to achieve what we want to uh, this year. So during the Christmas and New Year period, we, we go on vacation and we think about you know, the new year and what we want to achieve. We have these new year resolutions and all of these plans. But when we go back to our businesses and when we go back to our day jobs, we kind of get caught up in the day-to-day -day busyness and we forget all about the, the new year resolutions that we set for ourselves. And that's why I believe that every quarter, so every 90 days, it's really uh, valuable to take a break and uh, and to evaluate how things have gone. So I just got back from a 10 day vacation in Mexico. I left, I left work at home and I, I went away to Mexico and just chilled out. And when I was you know, just chilling out, I was thinking about a few different things. One of them was, what have I achieved in the quarter just gone? So from January 1st to the 31st of March, what have I achieved? And I just started making a list. And then I thought, well, what mistakes have I made? And I started making a list of the mistakes that I've made. And then I went back to the New Year resolutions and the goals that I'd set from t for 2015 and thought, am I on track to achieve these things? So I, and then, then what I did is I made a list of things that I want to achieve in the next quarter, so the next 90 days coming up. And that is what I encourage you to do. You know, you don't have to go overseas, you don't have to take a whole 10 days, but I encourage you to take a weekend and just shut everything out, like email and your phone and all of those things. Shut it out and just make, a, make three lists. A list of things you've achieved, list of mistakes, and a list of things you want to put into action in this next quarter. And then what I find is really helpful is to just print out a calendar for the next quarter. So this is just a basic PDF calendar. I've included it uh, for download below this video. And I just print out the next three months coming up and I start plotting the things that I want to achieve in the next quarter on this calendar. And it's, it's all very well having goals, but when you start plotting them on a calendar, it becomes a whole lot more real. And what I find is really helpful is to pretty much plan out your whole next quarter before it even starts. Because in my experience as an entrepreneur, when you're starting out, and even for a long time, your half the day is spent thinking what should we be doing and you know planning out the whole quarter in advance means that every day when you wake up there's you don't need to think as much and you just need to execute what's in your plan so my action items for you from this video are you know take a break and List the things you've achieved, list the mistakes you've made, go back to your original uh, goals and New Year's resolutions, check if you're on the right path, and then make a list of the things that you want to achieve in this next quarter, and then plot it on a calendar, and then start taking action. So that's it for this video on how to uh, master your own personal quarterly review. I've hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you're watching this video anywhere else other than my blog, head over to samovens.com now. That's where this uh, free download is, that's where other videos like this are, and that's where the comments section is. And now what I want you to do is click that like button above the video, and then leave me something in the comments section. I check all the comments personally and I respond to them myself. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.